Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak an iPhone 4S running 3. Point... Oh, sorry, what? What am I talking about? 9.3.6 Sorry, I just finished jailbreaking an iPhone 2G So yeah, first you're going to have to install Sideloadly I just finished the wizard or whatever it's called Now that Sideloadly is launching, it needs administrator okay. Okay, so install side loadly. Link is in the description, and also you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to have Polaris installed, which is a jailbreak software IPA or whatever. There it is. Now where is side loadly? Yeah. Now right click side loadly when you first launch it and run as administrator for it to work. Click on yes. Okay. And then you're gonna click on the IPA right here. And click on Polaris IPA. The link is in the description. And click on IP, it's gonna say or oh, whatever. Just go here and click on allow. It's gonna send like a virus and threat message. It's gonna say it's a Trojan horse or whatever. Click allow. Okay, well yeah, I don't care. Let it be Trojan. Now, try again. Alright, as you can see you have it right here, now I'm going to enter my actual Apple ID and click on start, so let me just enter it right now. Before you type your your Apple ID, make sure you plug in your device. So I'm going to plug in my 4S right here. Come on. And you're going to have to click on trust, I think. It's gonna tell you to trust it or whatever. Or, I don't think so. Yeah, you can see it's connected right here. So, uh, you see right here it says done. Now that it is done, you're gonna open your iOS device. You'll find Polaris right here. But before you launch it, make sure to go to settings, general, Click on device management and then click on allow. So yeah, you see here it's telling you to click on trust. So you click on trust right here. Now that it's trusted, you're gonna go back to the app. All right, so here's what to do next. Now that you trusted the certificate, rerun, sorry, open Polaris and it should work on the first try. If it doesn't, just retry again. Storage almost full of yeah. See, okay, that's normal. You just have to try it again. I remember seeing this storage almost full, and yeah, you just have to reboot it. That's gonna work again. All right. Once City is installed, you're gonna go and click on it. Wait for it to load. Okay, here you are. It's gonna tell you like make an upgrade. Make sure to click on complete upgrade. If it crashes you try it again. I already did it, but I forgot to record and also you can delete the ultra snow because it doesn't even work anymore. Next you can add any repos you want, like City of the Unvoxy Play Games or whatever. Let's just try adding a repo, city dot akemi dot AI. Oh what? Uh, there we go. It's gonna stop. You have to wait for it. Let's install a bunch of repos. The most important ones you should install is 
and Foxy and, and Foxy Beta as well as the Karen people. Let's just double check to see if it works. Everything's there, okay? Yes, everything is there. Alright, so yeah. Now you're gonna go to sources and click on add and type Cydia dot invoxy play games dot uk add source <clears throat> I don't know why it's always like landscape when it's downloading so yeah that's basically it you just install sources install to the that's the point of studio oh well, yeah you're gonna need one more important thing I'll show you after we install the beta repo. So you do the same thing. Cydia dot unboxy play games. Oh my god. Unboxy play games dot UK slash beta. Oh my Slash beta B E T A. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, about my voice. I just woke up and you know, <clears throat> my throat isn't really well. Okay, now you installed all these repos. These are the best repos out there. Maybe there's like some other ones like hack my iPhone or stuff but I never use these so you're gonna need something back in iOS 6 and below it's called iFile it's like a file manager but for iOS 9 it's Filza file manager it works exactly the same kind of just like a different name so you're gonna go ahead and click on install confirm and it's gonna install now, most people download the file manager to fix the YouTube problem or for other stuff. You go to YouTube and like it doesn't work, it says update or it says unable to load. You change the plist to the newest version. I'll show you how to do that later in another video. So yeah, that's basically it. Install file manager and city is ready. You already have what you need. Bye guys.